The phenomenal success of Bitcoin has caught all of us by surprise. It stealthily grew to the point where today no government can ban it. For this reason, we praise our Father in Heaven for leading Satoshi Nakamoto, the gifted Bitcoin core developers, and the early adopters in their indispensable roles in sealing the success of Bitcoin. The usefulness of this most popular cryptocurrency will become more apparent when the draconian no buy and sell laws foretold in Revelation 13, 15 to 17 are enforced on those who will not accept the mark of the beast. There will come a time in the near future when standing for the Creator's true Sabbath day, by the way, it is neither Saturday nor Sunday, the true Sabbath cannot be found on the Gregorian calendar, will forfeit one's right to buy and sell. It is a divine blessing that Bitcoin has been brought into existence and to have it established beyond the power of any earthly government well before the enforcement of the Mark of the Beast. Yes, today Bitcoin is in a way a priceless asset because it is censorship resistant and the most decentralized asset class and to own a Bitcoin makes a lot of sense, along with precious metals. We say this not because of the normal economic cycle, which entails a long overdue recession after the longest economic expansion in recent history. We are not concerned or worried by what a normal economic downturn will bring on the world. The world has endured endless economic downturns in the past. We say owning such assets is important because when the imminent seven trumpets of revelation begin to blast and hit the earth, all paper financial assets will be wiped out completely. When financial markets wake up suddenly to the realization that their rosy growth projections are not only non-attainable, but that they have to now adjust their numbers to reflect the new reality of dramatically contracting economic activity across the whole world, financial markets will implode. The bloodbath that will be triggered in financial markets will be something that we cannot imagine nor comprehend today given the current debt levels of outstretched governments, companies and consumers. It does not take a math wizard to figure out the impact a contracting world economy will have on the price of financial assets if the world economic activity were to collapse by 30% and keep on contracting. So, will owning Bitcoin and precious metals be all it takes to endure living in the world during the Seven Trumpets? The answer is an emphatic no. Owning Bitcoin and precious metals will provide no relief whatsoever during, for example, the Fifth Trumpet, which is categorized in Revelation as a woe. During this woe, all people who have not been sealed will endure such pain that the Bible says people will want to die but cannot. The unsealed will not even have the option to end their lives to escape the pain. We are not making these things up. They are foretold in His Word, Revelation 9 verses 1 to 11. During this woe, we are told that fallen angels will fake an alien invasion here on earth that will last for 150 days. The whole purpose of this alien invasion is to catapult the Pope to become the real world leader so that he can enforce the exaltation of Sunday worship all over the world. Again, we are not crazy, we are merely sharing with you what is foretold in his word. Most of us have missed the opportunity to buy Bitcoin when it was really cheap. But what if there is something better than Bitcoin? What is the priceless asset which would infinitely eclipse the usefulness of owning Bitcoin and precious metals? The beauty of this incalculable treasure is that it is still possible for anyone to own it today. And by owning it, you will be able to endure whatever will come your way in the run-up to the imminent second coming of Master Yahushua. Not only will owning this asset enable you to endure all the hardships foretold in His Word as we near the end, but owning it will bestow on you eternal life. There is no more precious asset to own. So, what in the world is it? It is the righteousness of Yahushua that the Father wants to cover us with. We have all sinned and are big-time sinners. 
We are doomed unless we accept Yahushua's righteousness, for he is the only being to have lived on this earth without committing a single sin. This is why, after he was crucified, the Father raised him up from death. For he died not because of any sin he committed, but to pay the price of our sins. Yahushua is eager to grant us his own righteousness, so that when we are covered by it, in the eyes of heaven it will be as if we have never sinned. All we have to do is give him our sinfulness and exchange it with his righteousness. It is the bargain of ages, my fallen sinful nature in exchange for his sinless perfection. Read Zechariah 3 on how this works out. We are informed that during the fifth trumpet, also known as the first woe, the fallen angels posing as aliens are commanded by our Heavenly Father not to touch anyone who has his seal on their foreheads. To have Yahushua's robe of righteousness is the seal with which we can be protected not only during the first woe, but also during all the trumpets and seven last plagues. We entreat you to learn more, for there is not much time left to prepare for the crisis of ages. Strive to become acquainted with Yahushua and his righteousness, for it is the most precious asset to own in these last days, infinitely more valuable than all the bitcoins combined. <laughs>